It's me, DJ Image, and I'm glad to say that I am very excited that I started a YouTube channel and I'm going to be doing vlogs, challenges, and all kinds of different stuff. But as soon as I get a good camera, I want to get a, uh, a blog going on and, you know, take you guys to the clubs with me and to the different things I do. A lot of the things that the YouTubers do is story time, so I'm going to go ahead and share a story with me that I think that you guys will all enjoy. Um, and it's the day that I had to quit working at IBTs. Now, if you know me, I'm a DJ. I've been DJing for about 12 years, and I was DJing at IBTs nightclub in Tucson, Arizona. So, that's only the only thing I'm gonna say um, about the the where it happened and and that kind of sense. Everything else, I'm gonna kind of change the names of people. Um, so, let me go ahead and start with the story. I started working at IBTs about a year and a half ago, um, and I love, uh, you know, they hit me up, and they asked me if I would start DJing there, and I accepted, and then the contract that we did, um, said that I would be DJing from 9 o'clock to 2 o'clock, um, how much I will get paid an hour. And keep in mind, I live in Phoenix, Arizona, so that's a two-hour drive. So, that has nothing to do with the main part of the story. The main part of the story is, is um, I was starting to show up a little late, you know, 9.05, even 9.30 um, sometimes, and you know, I had to be there at 9 o'clock, so sometimes I would show up late, which was very unprofessional to me, <laughs> and never said anything to me, the drag, the drag show started at 9 o'clock, um, so you know, I tried my hardest to leave Phoenix, to be there, two hour drive every single day. Friday night to just get there to be able to give them the best I can as DJ image um, and there's a lot more to this story but I'm trying to give you guys a little small drift this is my first time doing story time time and it's a little awkward I've never done it before staring in front of myself and the camera and so obviously story time will get a little better especially when I get a better camera okay. um, so the, the drag show starts at 9 o'clock I get there um, the drag queens are still getting ready. I usually get there right at nine. I set up my thing, I get the music, I get everything going. And um, everything's been going good, everything was wonderful, good club. Um, shout out to the best drag queens in Tucson. Um, they did an amazing job. I had a love-hate relationship with one of them, but much love to her. And, and I really, really respected and had a lot of love for, um, I'm gonna go ahead and say China Collins. <laughs> um, so, I, I uh, one night, the last night that I was there, um, the night goes good, I'm, I'm DJing, everything's going good, the, the owner goes up there gets his radio because the radios are by the DJ booth, and um, he says, you know, he says hello to me, um, goes downstairs, everything's going good. Um, at the end of the club, I have to use the restroom, I come down, and right on the bottom, there's a security guard waiting for me. Hey, the club owner wants to talk to you. Okay, I'm going to go use the restroom and then I'll go talk to him. No, he wants to talk to you now. I'm going to go use the restroom and then when I'm done I'll come talk to him. So I go to the restroom, um, the security guard waiting for me right there. Um, really aggressive, the owner wants to talk to you now, he wants to talk to you now so I go in the back and I go see what he needs. He's pointing his finger at me right away, pointing his finger at me upset, I don't really understand what he's upset about and yelling about um, but then he starts saying oh you're always late. We're going to have to figure out what we're going to do. And if you're late again, pointing, if you're late again, I'm going to let you go. Okay. I quit. I'm not going to sit here and let someone disrespect me, point their finger at me, um, cuss at me, um, and be very unprofessional. If you have a problem with me, come to me like a man with some respect and talk to me and let me know what the problem is. Don't come at me pointing your finger, yelling, screaming, being very dramatic. He follows me from the front of the club, I mean from the back of the club saying, get out, get out, get out of my club. He's following me from the back to the front. My boyfriend and his friend, or our friend, is standing right there, he's seeing the whole thing. There's like 30, 40 people in the club still. He's pushing us out of the club, cussing at us, telling me to get the fuck out, that I think I own Tucson and that I run this and blah, blah, blah. Okay, when we get to the door, he pushes my boyfriend, pushes him out. Um, security blocks our way for us to be able to defend ourselves. Um, very dramatic, very crazy. Now the point and why I want to share this story is because club owners sometimes think that they could do 
on whatever they wanted. They feel like they could disrespect people, they could treat people like shit, and that's that's not the case. You're, yeah, you are our boss, but you do not own us. Respect us. We work for you, we do hard, we promote for your club, we make you money. At the end of the day, my problem with this situation is, is you should have came to me a little more professional. Your security guard should have not been aggressive, and you did not have to push um, my boyfriend or a, a customer outside the door that has nothing to do with the issue. Nothing at all. So I want to end this story with this. And there'll be more stories about different clubs and different situations, and they're not all going to be dramatic like this, but here's my thing with that situation. is we've, I've given you... Uh, 100% of what I bring high quality DJ to your nightclub um, I drove two hours there two hours home every day every night if there was a problem with the quality or or what I was doing um, and you have came to me before and that's a different story you came to me before about um, the Spanish music I was playing you did not want me to play Spanish music very upset about that but that's a different story that I will share. Um, but let's finish this one. Um, I lost where I was at. But anyways, if you have problems with someone and you're an owner, come to them and let them know what the problem is because they're not going to know. You can't fix it unless you come to them professionally with the, with the conversation, not angry. I don't know. I, I hope I did this right. I hope you guys understood the story. Um, but yeah, start subscribing to my page and please show me love and support. And um, I hope the people in Tucson don't think I'm bashing them. I just want you guys to understand that, um, well, the people in Tucson, I have much love and respect for you guys. And I'll be coming back and doing events out there. Um, but the the club owner at this specific particular nightclub should have handled himself a little better. Myself, DJ Image, please don't forget to subscribe and tell me what you think about this story. Um, other than that, much love and um, till next time, I'll see you guys soon.